be real, how many people really like cleaning? I'm going to guess almost no one. Well, I have one friend who says it's therapeutic, but he's not right. Um, there is a <laughs> woman in North Texas who has cleaned hundreds of homes over the past several years, and she's done it for free. Why exactly? Well, Sean Giggy explains in today's Giggy Bites. As owner of a maid service in Flower Mound, Debbie Sardone has spent years cleaning up other people's messes. Yes. But the one that troubled her most was her own. I was disappointed in myself just realizing that I could have helped someone and I didn't think to help them. About 15 years ago, Debbie got a phone call from a woman who needed help cleaning her house. Debbie told her how much it would be, and the woman told Debbie she just couldn't afford it. She had breast cancer, and the hospital bills alone were too much. She hung up the phone, and I missed an opportunity to give her the cleaning completely for free. Debbie felt guilty and wished she could go back and do something. But it was before the time of caller ID, and she never did find out who that woman was. Instead, Debbie has spent the past 15 years atoning for that missed opportunity. Hey, I'm Kathy. I'll be cleaning for you today. Okay, come on. 12 years ago, Debbie started a nonprofit called Cleaning for a Reason, providing women with cancer cleaning for free. Since then, more than a thousand companies nationwide have joined the cause, and together they've given away more than eight million dollars of free cleaning. Women like breast cancer patient Emily Watkins couldn't be more thankful. So this helps so much more than you'll ever realize that you do this. But Debbie says she's the one who's truly been blessed. When you begin to give and give and give, then you'll be surprised at how much you get back in return, especially if you had no expectations. Thank you for starting this service. Sometimes to blessing. make a difference, you need to get your hands dirty. Thank you. And sometimes all you have to do is answer the call. <laughs> what a blessing. John Giggy. Oh, what a blessing. Channel 8 News Daybreak. She's a you know, I've heard from a lot of cancer patients before that um, no one wants to ask for help. Uh, especially if you're not that type of person. So you really just have to do it. You don't ask, you just go. Um, if they really want you to stop, I guess you will. But I think that's the biggest thing to take away from this is if you see the need, just act on it. And people who are battling cancer.